Hey, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a few debugging and troubleshooting tips for Active Collab 3. Uh, you know, I've just installed a recent version of Active Collab 3 on this system. And what happens is when I click on the modules link here, it's giving me a failed to load page error. Okay, so here's how you can solve something like this. I want to explain this because a lot of things in Active Collab work using Ajax. So you don't really see descriptive error messages on the screen. All right, so what you can do is uh, you can go to developer tools. Now I'm using Chrome, Google Chrome currently. So the developer tools are within the tools and developer tools menu. But if you're using any other browser, you will have uh, something similar available. For example, in Firefox, you can use Firebug. In Safari, you can use uh, the activity monitor you'll have a similar tool. So go to the developer tools and here's the error message. You know, this is the console where it says fail to load resource and it responded with 409, the conflict message. Now, there are these different tabs available. You know, the ones that we are primarily interested in is the console and the network because the network will show us all the network activities. Whenever you click something within Active Collab, that's going to show up here and we will be able to actually look behind the scenes, look behind the curtains and see what that call is returning. And that's what is going to give us details about the problem. So let me just uh, resize this window so it's visible and uh, click on the modules again. So we see the error and back to the developer tools, we see that error here as well. Click on that and here is the response that we see. So it says it's an error and uh, there you go. It says it's an auto load error. It says failed to load class ng theme. And uh, that's happening at this particular location. Now we would be surprised at, you know, what is this class and why is it failing to load that? So if you've done any PHP debugging, you know, that will really come handy here. But if you not, don't worry, you know, we're going to have uh, we're going to spot the error pretty quickly. So what you want to look at is you want to look at the backtrace of this call, which is up here. You know, you can also do a search here. So just look at the backtrace and there you will see a list of all the files that have been included and the final position where the error occurred. So it says this function, ng application autoload, actually through this error and that's actually coming in from sample theme module dot class all right so that explains it now because i also do have a little bit of context about you know this particular version that in 3.1.9 they removed theme support so they disabled the theme uh, access in this particular version and there is this old module from earlier version that's still lying around so that's actually causing the problem. So the solution for me would be to delete this particular folder and then the error should go away. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to go to my Active Collab folder. Here it is. Go to Custom and Modules. And here is the sample theme. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete that and come back to Active Collab and then try clicking on the Modules list. Awesome. So that's the solution. What we essentially did was we took help of the developer console. We looked at the response from that particular request that was giving us the error. We looked at the backtrace, found the problem. You know, at least the backtrace will give you sufficient clue about what's happening. And uh, that's something that you can submit to, you know, Active Collab or Apps Magnet or any developer who did that module and you'll actually understand where the error is coming from and you know if you submit the backtrace to the developer it'll really help them solve the problem fast all right the other practice or the other solution that you may want to try is right click on this particular error you know the the request that caused the error and open that link in a new tab so typically that'll give you if you know if there was an error it'll give you a full error message up here the whole trace of the error message 
and it'll be much easier for you to understand what's happening. Now in this case, you know, it's not showing anything here because it's all in line and it's now actually the problem is also solved. Another place where you can look for uh, problems is the logs folder within Active Collab. So, you know, this is the log folder and uh, you know, if you just bring it up. So if you look at the log file, we'll actually see any errors that Active Collab is encountering on the way. And it'll, it'll be actually full of uh, PHP warnings in many cases. In this particular case, you know, these are the errors that you can actually safely ignore. It's uh, related to PHP Smarty template functionality that Active Collab is using. You can look through these error logs and you can actually narrow down where the problem is happening. The developer console is, uh, is what we use as uh, Active Collab developers all the time whenever there are errors. Um, so I hope that's been useful and you can find problems and find their solutions with Active Collab 3.